At least uh, twice uh, in the last week, we've heard about the cases where a person developed sepsis after getting the flu. A 38-year-old Heather Holland is a teacher at the Eichert Elementary, died over the weekend. Brian Herndon lost both his legs after his symptoms escalated quite quickly. So we want to help you understand what sepsis is and how it actually occurs. So Alicia Lavenger is here now. She's got more on this for us. Alicia, what do you have? Yeah, this is scary stuff, John, yeah. but basically it's pretty easy to understand if you break it down. So sepsis happens when you already have an infection like the flu and it triggers a chain reaction. As it gets worse, it compromises the blood flow to your vital organs like your heart or your kidneys, and this can cause organ failure. Now, sepsis can also cause blood clots to form in your arms, your legs, your fingers, and your toes and your limbs need that fresh blood which carries oxygen to keep them alive. Without it, the tissue dies, and one form of this is gangrene. So that's one reason why you're hearing about so many flu patients who become septic, then undergoing an amputation. Now, it's tough for the average person to recognize sepsis. There's no one single symptom, but this is what a doctor is looking out for. An above or below average body temperature, a high heart rate, shortness of breath, and even confusion or disorientation can be a sign of sepsis. Now, I talked to the co-chair of Parkland's Sepsis Task Force earlier today, and she explained how an underlying health condition like asthma, for example, can impact someone's potential for developing sepsis. So anyone who has an underlying condition like bad diabetes, um, obstructive lung disease from smoking, cancer, um, on medications that suppresses their immune system, they're much more susceptible to becoming septic from um, influenza. However, um, we have seen healthy individuals still have a sepsis response to influenza. And doctors say we've seen more cases of sepsis because the flu is so rampant this year. The Mayo Clinic says most people do recover from mild sepsis, but the mortality rate for septic shock is nearly 50%, and that's sepsis when it's most severe. So if you or someone you know already has the flu and you suspect sepsis, you want to get that person to the hospital immediately. John?